Spirit of the Lord. This time we're going to ask if you would, Brother Jim, but you ask the blessing of our service. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we will be hunting down before you another time. I want to thank you, dear Lord, for another day of life. <coughs> thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for the blessings of all that have come this way. Pray that you bless the church service today, your song, testimonies, and most of all, the preach word. Give you praise, glory, honor, thanks for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody in the wheel this morning come around and help us sing. <laughs>
waiting this morning. Praying that you come this morning with your cup turned up right. Waiting on the blessings of the Lord, Brother Shelby, that he will fill us up this morning. I believe he will. We come in the right mind of uh, set today and believing that he is able, I believe he'll pour out his blessings on us this morning. And he'll bless us, Brother Shelby, that when we leave here, we can say it's been good to be in the house of the Lord, Brother Lord, one more time. Thank goodness today, because, you know, there's there's a lot this morning, no doubt, in my mind. They went to bed, Brother Junebug, last night, with plans on doing something this morning, maybe going to the house of the Lord. And Brother Shelby, they never woke up this morning. But I'm telling you what, while, we, while we're able, while we still have breath in this body, I... Uh, we need to do what the Lord tells us to do. We need to serve Him, Brother Lloyd. And, and Brother, listen, we uh, we went over in Sunday school there this morning about the uh, about the ten virgins, Brother. And, uh, uh, brother Shelby brought this out this morning. The Bible says they all slumbered and slept, Brother T.J. Yeah. Brother, listen, I believe that's what the world's are doing today. I believe that's what some of the church is doing today. Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. sleeping on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, Brother Shelby, listen, that don't mean they're not ready. Uh, uh, that don't mean that they're not prepared uh, uh, for the Lord to come, but they're sleeping, Brother Lloyd. I, I listen, they're not watching for His coming. I, I, brother, He said, watch ye therefore, I, for in an hour you think not I, the Son of Man is coming I, on the clouds of glory. I, I, brother, listen, and I don't go out here, I, and I don't stand in gaze in the sky looking I, I, for His coming. I, I, but brother Lloyd, I, I look for Him by the eye of faith. I, I, brother, any day I, He can come, Brother T.J., and brother, listen, when he comes, and you're looking at one old boy and that wants to be ready, and that wants to go with him. And brother, any day when he comes, and brother TJ, we better be ready when he comes. That brother, he may come in the evening, he might come at the cock rolling, but one thing for surely, he is a coming. And the one thing for sure, we better have our sins under the blood. And we better be ready on that day when he comes. Because listen today, when it comes to our time, that brother, it may be, I don't know, the Bible tells us, Brother Lloyd, that it may be that Jesus don't even know the day, the angels don't know the day, but God himself has got that day appointed. But brother, listen, it may be today, it may be tomorrow, it may be a hundred years from now, I don't know. But one thing for surely I do know, he is coming. Yeah. And another thing, Brother Shelby, I do know that I am going to go by the way of grave if the Lord turns his coming. And when that day comes, yeah. when these eyes are closed for the Lord and dead, that's eternity for me. And that's the end of time yeah. on this earth for me, Brother Shelby. And the Bible says, how the tree falls, so shall it lie. Oh, listen, we better make us surely today and that our sins are under the blood. We better make surely and that our robes are washed white in the blood of the Lamb. Brother, some people say, well, I'm going to get that white robe when I get there. Now, brother, you better have your robe white now. And you better have your garments without spot, without blemish. And you better have it washed in the blood and be ready. When he comes. Because yes. he's coming, brother boy. Yes. He's coming for you. Ready or not, we used to play a game when we was kids. Uh, ready or not, here I come. Yeah. That's the way it's going to be for the Lord, Brother Shelby. Yes. He set out a point in time, Brother Lloyd, and I believe he set out a, every man and woman a space and time uh, to be prepared for the day to come, Brother TJ. And it's up to every man and woman to make that decision, Brother Lloyd, yes. whether you want to be ready when he comes. Or where do you want to be and laugh when he comes? Because yeah. listen, we read it this morning. He's going to do the separate, Brother yes, Lloyd. He he's going to separate his sheep from his goats. Mm -hmm. And Brother, listen, on that day, Brother Shelby, if his blood's not been applied to our lives and our mm -hmm. sins are not under his blood, then listen, you're going to hear the part for me. That's right. I never knew you. Never knew you. Brother, listen, we better be ready on that day. Yes. That's, That's right. a main important thing, to be yes, ready. Because listen, nothing else... Houses, homes, big bank accounts, IRAs, 401k, they ain't going to mean a thing, Brother Shelby, if you ain't got the Lord in your life on that day. Brother, listen, we need to be prepared for that day. So, lost friend, if you're here today, 
Think about it. Weigh up the cost. Think about where you're heading to. Because listen, there's two places. This living word of God tells us of two places mm -hmm. that's going to hold the whole human race from Adam to the last man born, brother. Yeah. And listen, it's either in heaven or it's either in hell. Yeah. And it's our decision to make whether yes. we want to go to heaven or we want to go to that awful place of destruction. He left that decision up to us. Yes. So no matter what's going on here this morning, if they're singing, if they're testifying, if the brothers are preaching, this altar is open. But the Lord deals with your heart. That's the time to move out. That's the time to come and to talk it over with Him. This time we'll get right on into the service this morning. We thank God for this beautiful crowd this morning. Yes. Anybody got an unspoken prayer request up lift of the hand? Someone got to <coughs> be made known to the church this morning. Yes. Sister Lynn Gill uh, and Brother Charles. Remember Eddie and pray that God will always help me to be a light to those that I come in contact with that don't know him. Yes, and I love him so much and I thank God for every blessing that he pours down upon me. I want to be a light to him. What we're to be is a light set upon a hill. The city could be a hill.
I thank the Lord for being here. And I will remember me, remember all my family, my sister, the ones that's lost, the ones that's sick. I asked the church this morning, can you remember them granddaughters down there in the NICU? Mm -hmm. One of them has been, as I'm sure you all know, has been very, very sick. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has seen fit. She's improved in sound last night. Mm -hmm. Just keep them in your prayers that she just continues to improve. And I know God's able to do all things. Yeah, you trust him yes. to do. Yes. Anyone else before we go to prayer? Brother, yes. remember me and my family. And uh, remember I Everybody to pray for my little sister Lorna. 
if I lay anything in for a few years because you don't come around, so I'll call on it. The same way she got arrested the other day. <laughs> you know, we tried and we tried with her. But it's the path that she's chosen. I wish I could just help her. But she won't let us. So just pray that she opens her eyes and just realizes what she's doing. We get to her life straightened up before it's too late. <coughs> Before we go to prayer, the question we always try to remember to ask him. It ain't to embarrass anybody, it ain't even going to save anybody. It's a step in the right direction. Brothers, I'm glad somebody asked me this morning. You're here this morning and you don't know Jesus and part of the reason your sins is you like part in this little prayer. To do so much, lift up your hand with mine. God, doing the same pray for me. And there be one. God bless those hands. God bless those hands. But there be others while we carry for just a moment at time. God do bless. Everybody feels way to. We'll gather around the altar and pray at your seats where the Lord will lead you to. We'll ask if you would, Brother TJ, to lead us in the word of prayer. <laughs>
Come down, be counted with the children of the Lord. Move up a little closer. Climb higher with the mountains. Move up a little closer to the kingdoms of the Lord. I'm so thankful for the message that was sent to me that night. I grew my Christian armor and I vowed to spread the light. Now when I see a sinner standing in the shadows dim, I'll bow my head and say this prayer to them. Move up a little closer, don't hide in the shadows. Come now, be counted with the children of the Lord. Move up a little closer, climb higher up the mountain. Move up a little closer to the kingdom of the Lord. Yes. What else this morning? Thank you, Jesus. You know, Brother Mike, I'm so glad. You know, anchor still holds me. Yes. You know, this old ship's been tossed and rolled and torn and whatever, you know, but I yes, still Lord. keep turning on. Oh, I love the Lord this morning. Yes, Lord. He's so good to me. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. The ones yes, that don't know the Lord, they just don't know. So there's nothing in this old world but troubles and heartaches. Yeah. But one day after a while, it'll all be over. How I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, dear Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What else? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Emma, you want to sing us a song? Oh, Jesus. I asked her when she come in, she just shrugged her shoulders about that.
Đó. Oh, 
God. He made the heaven. He made the stars. He made the moon. He made the sun. He made the earth. He made our being. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I believe in Jesus that he died on the cross for me. I believe he let him whip up on him with the can of nine tails. I believe they put the beard out of his face. Do you believe it with your whole heart? Yes. That the Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth but again to die for you. To pay your sin debt that you can't pay, children. Well, I've been a good old girl. I've been a good old boy. I ain't done that much wrong. Hell's full of good old boys and girls. Yeah. Good old boys and good old girls, brother. It's only going to make it to heaven. No. Saved. Good old boys and good old girls. Yeah. make it to heaven. That's it. If you're saved, you're beautiful, boy and girl. I know we make it sound like it's so easy. Or we'll just come and talk at the end. Children, that's all you got to do. The hard part is, yeah. is let him have your whole heart. Amen. He says, if you give me your whole heart, he said, I'll be found with you. That's what we got to do today, brother Jim. But we just got to let him have it. We can try to set and think of everything that we need to try to get fixed up in our life. I try to get things in order, brother Billy, if you will. I, I will. I got to quit doing this. I got to quit going there. I, I got to quit talking like this. Hey, let me tell you something. Oh, you can't do nothing oh, without Jesus. Amen. Oh, we've been there. We've done that. Oh, listen to these brothers and these sisters in this church. And your family knows that belong to church. You can't do it on your own. No. But even when you get saved, you still can't do it. You know why? Because we ain't perfect. We're still in the flesh. The Bible says the spirit and the flesh is contrary one to the other. It means there's a constant warfare going on all the time. Yeah. If somebody wants to do the flesh of the, the, do the, the, the sin and the things of the flesh wants to be, uh, I'm being the, of the devil's grasp. That's what we want to be. That's where he's old body. They want to be. Uh, I just do whatever you want to do. Uh, it don't matter. Uh, I go me hallelujah. If I tell you feel it's burning out, uh, you need to keep going Satan. Uh, I tell you curb. Uh, I get Jesus uh, in your life. I got to do come talk to him. Yes. You need a loaf of bread to eat? Come and talk to me. Hey, I see what we can do to get you a loaf of bread. Bless him, Lord. You need something to drink? Come and ask somebody. You'll get something to drink. Hey, Brother James, I saw that when I said that. Hey, one time when I was in the mine, I'd been walking all day, walking our way to different things. Boy, I didn't take no water in my pockets or nothing. Got me up there, brother TJ. Boy, I got out up on the track and was walking. That old hot air was blowing down that track, and my mouth was so dry. I couldn't even hold this water. Oh, Lord, why didn't I bring no water with me? I hadn't been in church probably two or three years when this happened. I said, Lord, I'd love to have me a cold drink of water right now. My mouth was so dry. I didn't know what I did, brother James. I walked another, probably another 15, 20 breaks. Probably about 10,000 feet or so. You know what I run up on? Sitting over here like up against this wall with half a case of drinking water with a little eight ounce bottle. Yeah. Covered plumb up with rock dust. You couldn't even hardly tell what it was. Thank you. The only reason I know what it was, I seen that tape that goes across the top of the box to see it moving in the wind. You know what I done, boy? I run over and I grab that jug. Yeah. Before I got the top of the hood, I looked up to that old coal mine and I said, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Woo! Boy, that's what God can do for you. Uh, we take little things like that for granted. Uh, he knows what you need uh, in your life uh, and when you need it. It ain't all about me, it's all time for us. People in Jesus don't be for to have him. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory. I know people don't like to hear a bunch of tales and all. Oh, Jesus. 
My brother was a few like that happened and stuff that sticks with you. Six three when when tough times come by and when you're down in the valley and you ain't got no friends or nobody but uh, buddies to talk to, you think about that stuff. Well, I remember when the Lord helped me with that. Mom remember when I almost wrecked running over the hill and the Lord just held the car over. Yes, I remember when I made it Sunday and somebody brought me something. Have you been there and done that, children? I couldn't get my feet to move. I said, what do you mean you couldn't get your feet to move? 
He said, when you brothers was up there, he said, I could feel it all over my arms, on the back of my neck. He said, I could hear the Lord say, come up to me. Oh, Jesus. He said, I wanted to step out. He said, but I couldn't move. He said, my feet felt like they was in a block of ice. Oh, and I couldn't make them move. I ain't seen the boy back in church in a long time. Oh, Jesus. If you feel that small, still boy speaking to your heart this morning, Amen. don't let the devil make you stay oh, in your seat. Jesus. Jesus. You might not be able to get out of your seat this morning. You feel like you can't move your feet, just hold them hand up and say, Lord, help me. You don't have to be up here, Brother Junior, to be saved. How do you get it? You tell old devil, say, take it. Pop it out of my face, Satan. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what has to happen? He has to go. He has to flee. He can't stay, brother, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Somebody needs Jesus this morning. Yes. I don't know who to yes. You know what I do? I have my head down. Praying that the Lord will give you enough strength. Yes. Give you enough want to and enough faith. Yes. Raise your little hand up this morning. Yes. They may have been some here that's lost that didn't raise your hand. Yeah. That's all right. The yeah. Lord loves you the same. Yeah. He said, if you're drunk, mine unto me. I brought mine unto you. Well, when I first started coming to church up here, I sat back there with Brother Sean, that back with that old pew back there. Every time my wife would bring me to church, it seemed like I moved up one or two seats about every time. She asked me if I want to go to church. I said, no, I ain't feeling good today. I was off her from work from the No, I ain't going today. I went down and picked her up. She was working down at the old subway. I had that girl fire as well as this little old thing from back in 2005. Me and her been listening to old rock and roll music, me and that girl Mary. Before we pulled in where she worked, I was going to pick her up from work. When I pulled into the parking lot, turned on the gospel. <laughs> Trying to make her happy. Sure. Yeah. yeah. She said, you going to church with me tonight? I said, yeah, probably will. Got home. Said you're going to get ready to go to No, oh, my back will kill me. Can't move. Well, that's what the devil, I don't want you to listen now. Mm -hmm. That's what the devil does to you. Mm -hmm. Everybody said, oh, you ought not say the devil's name in church, not listen. He knows this stuff better than what I do, brother, buddy, any of you all do. He'll use it against yeah, you to keep you from doing what you need to do to love the will of God, okay? Well, on Tuesday night, I sat about right in there where Brother Jigger was sitting there. I heard a cry come out to me. Come, on, come, on. come and talk it over with me. Almost felt like that boy I was talking about. I didn't want to come out. I didn't want nobody to make fun of me. I didn't want nobody to laugh at me. Being blinded by the old devil. Knowing that nobody here in this church is going to make fun of me. Mm -hmm. Knowing that nobody here loves me and wants me to be saved the same as we yes. are with you today. Yes. We want yes. you to get saved. We want you to fall out of the field of sin. Yes. We want you to accept Jesus in your life so yes. you will have a better life. Yes. So you will have a way to get to heaven. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Boy, when I answered that call, I've heard some of them say, well, they heard this and they seen that. I thought, fire the dandy. You know what I had to do? Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Boy, when I said that, Lord, have mercy. Forgive me for what I've done. I felt like a brand new man. Mm -hmm. I felt like I could jump on the little roof and run up onto the head of pigeon roofs. Give me a new lease. Oh my. He said, Come ye up from among the world. 
being in a separate people. That's what we are. Right? Yes. We say, hey, nobody wants nothing to do with a bunch of Christians. Boy, the Lord does. Oh, the Lord loves you. Yes. He wants you to give you your, your life to Him. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know I was talking about it. We went on with my children. I'm telling you, I love you this morning. I want you to be concerned about yourself. Yeah, we don't know if we're going to make it to tomorrow. That's right. Well, they. Wave wars and stuff going on, and uh, all people just going off and shooting a bunch here and, uh, and a bunch there and stuff. We don't know what's going to happen. Right. No. We think everybody we know around in our community where we live at, we think we're all safe. But are you? We don't know what's going to happen. We think, you know, we got all this technology, brother, buddy, uh, uh, satellites out here watching Earth. And, you think that you got it in your mind that you're safe in the United States, that mm -hmm. nobody can't drop a bomb on you and this man, not a man will take you. This old earth is going to come to an end one way or another. Whether you're saved or whether you're lost, it's going to come to an end. We don't know exactly. <laughs> It's going to come to an end. I ain't going to get into a bunch of stuff that people might not agree with. But anyhow, the Lord loves you. We don't know when this life's going to end. What matters is you get Jesus in your life. That's right, brother. That's right. I love y'all this morning. If the Lord speaks to you this morning, I'm telling you, you need to answer that call. Don't be ashamed. Don't don't worry about somebody making fun of you. They know I hear going to make fun of you. That's right. You know what's going to happen when you get up and say, yeah, I've accepted the Lord in my life. You know what's going to happen? Boys, brothers and sisters, we're going to pray. We're going to pray, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that there's more rejoicing. That's right, brother. More rejoicing over one. One. One that comes to repent. Yes. Yes. That's what it's about this morning. Yes. God, do bless you. Yes. Yes. Laura, come around and get you a song this morning.